Well, I'm here to welcome you back after the first part of our journey. And we did go on a journey this morning, didn't we? And it was a journey of, of hope and fantasy and love for our friends and some wonderful, wonderful songs there, wasn't there? But I'd like us to think about the lunch that we've had today. Time was before we had all the big roads with the trucks on them and everything getting delivered by road, many of the things in your lunch would have come by train. So trains used to bring lots and lots of different things to our towns and cities. And they were a really important part of how we all used to live. The milk that went in your cheese would come on a train. The post still does sometimes travel on a train. So the train was a really important part. And occasionally, if you stand there long enough next to the railway line, you will see a train that's got wagon after wagon after wagon of gravel on it or other things. And I think it's really important to remember that trains are far more sustainable. Who cares about the planet? Absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's fantastic. The planet's in good hands then, isn't it? Because actually trains are a really, really effective way of moving things around. And I hope in the future we'll be less using cars and more using trains. And I really do hope that for everybody because I think trains are a symbol of hope. So everybody, I wish you a fantastic afternoon. It's time to hear from the people who've been involved in this project. But firstly, who can name this? What's this? Come. It's a pocket watch, that's right. So the time was, this is how you measured the time. And it's a really interesting fact that before we had standardized time, you could leave your station at one time and arrive late just on account of the fact of the distance. So it was very important that time was measured like this on the railway so people would know what time they would arrive. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to Caroline. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to talk for two and a half minutes. So, first of all, I'm Caroline, and I run a company called Luxy, who has this little, this little bulb logo that's on quite a lot of the stuff you might have seen. And I was part of really early conversations about a project called Hourline that then became Hourline Connections and that all of you people have joined me to work together to see what connection can mean to everybody. And so I'm really, really delighted to be here myself and I'm delighted to see all of you. So thank you primarily, thank you all for being here and for your attention and your hard work and your, all of your thoughts and ideas. The people who have actually paid to enable that, I just need to say really quickly thank you to all of them. So in reverse order potentially, Locomotion, who the, run this venue, isn't this phenomenal? They've been working with us and they've been a great partner and a host for our event and for the exhibition that's going to be on the, the next few weeks. So thank you so much to Locomotion. <laughs> we can applaud the funders, yeah, let's do that. Um, the next people is the National Lottery Community Fund who've paid for today because look at all of the stuff that we've got today. So we don't need to applaud everybody. But thank you to the National Lottery Community Foundation. And because it's a Jubilee celebration and the Jubilee is about connection between generations. So yay for the Jubilee. Woo, you can whoop at that. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to speed up maybe. The County Durham Community Foundation, what they have paid for is, you know, you've done all the workshops. Well, they have enabled us to create a pack. It's called a have a go pack. And over there on the table that this nice lady in a stripy dress is standing in front of, yeah, there's a pile of envelopes. If anybody knows anybody who might like to do the workshop or do like have a little go at some of the art or the songwriting, we've got envelopes at the back. 
And I would love everybody to take one envelope and make a commitment to pass that on to somebody that you know, whether that's an older person who might be shielding or isolated, or just a friend who didn't get the chance to be part of this project. If everybody takes one envelope and gives it to somebody, that would be amazing. The next thing, Durham County Council have supported the project, which is brilliant. Arts Council England and Cross... I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> the Cross Country Rail um, Community Fund, they believed in us right at the start and they were the people who came together to go, actually, yeah, this is a really good project and they supported and enabled the start of our Line Connections project. And the last thing I'm going to say is Felicity and Marie from um, the Bishop Line and from Northern, they're both going to speak to you, but I've been working really hard with them for ages and they're great. And all of the team that have made today happen. And that was only two and a half minutes, I promise. Anyway, this is Marie. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Lovely to see you all. Um, so I'm Marie and I'm from Northern. So I work for Northern who run the trains. I don't know whether you've seen a few go past today. So I work for Northern, the train company. Um, so all I want to say is a huge thank you to all of you for creating all these beautiful songs and beautiful images and everything. Um, and a huge thank you to the team. Honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of such a wonderful team. Um, and this project, it just epitomizes Northern's vision. So we have a vision which is connecting people in the North, which is exactly what this project has done. So it's, it's, you know, it's absolutely perfect. The songs are wonderful. You're all fabulous singers. Um, the, the images are wonderful. The songbook is just, amazing absolutely amazing so i'd like to thank you all thank you all for coming um and i'll pass you on to felicity who is a colleague of mine thank you. hello so i'm felicity i've met some of you my job is the officer for the bishop line community rail partnership so our partnership is here to connect all the people who live along the bishop line or around the bishop line to make sure that you have a better, better opportunities to do things, better opportunities to see things and go to college and to school and go to the beach and that kind of thing and use the train to do that. Now, our Line Connections project, from the very beginning, intended to build connections. So we wanted you to build connections within yourself, to find new skills, to find new feelings. Um, to, mem to remember things. We wanted to help you build connections with other people. So like you might have met some new friends today, hopefully. Has anybody met somebody new that they didn't know before? Yes, yeah, so you've got a new connection, brilliant. And we wanted to help you connect to new places, so places you've never been before. And that was always the attention of this project and it has absolutely done that. So I'm going to say thank you to all of our artists Shell and M, Homera and Kate, for helping all of you, everybody who's taken part, to do just that, to find some new connections. And thank you all for working so hard and for really finding some feelings inside that you might not have thought were there. So well done, everybody. Can you give everybody a clap? Thank you. And then the future of our line connections is to spark new connections. So I'm so pleased with this project that it hasn't just finished. It's definitely the start of more. I've made new connections for our partnership. You've met a new friend, so that's awesome. And hopefully you've met new friends in different schools and this project won't end and it will carry on with making more connections. So thank you everybody so much. And I think that ends next. Hello, everybody. You've already seen me. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and you're going to see me again in a bit when we do our performance at the end of the day. But I've been asked to say a few words um, about what this project has been like for me as an artist coming in to work with you guys and to work with the rest of the team. And it's been lovely, and I'm very grateful, and I've learned lots, because you always learn stuff when you're doing new things. 
And I think what I've learned that's most important is actually something I knew already, but I'd forgotten, which is that when we focus on the same thing, lots of us together, and we really, really listen to each other, and we make offers to each other that are honest and interesting, whatever they are, then what happens after that, the things that we make in artistic terms, the conversations that we have, they're really, really much better because we've all done them together. And so I just think that that's a really important thing for me to take away and I hope you feel the same, that we are, we are more creative and we do things better when we do them together and when we are open and listen to each other. And... Uh, so thank you very much. That's, that's hopefully something that you have shared as well doing this work. I'm going to hand over to Michelle. Thank you. I went on my computer last night and I thought I'd write a few notes about each school. Um, St Andrews, you put your hands up. Do you remember going into the play yard? Oh, sorry. Yeah, keep it on my mark. <laughs> Do you remember going into the play yard when it was really, really windy and we took all our drawings and they were all joined together? How long were they? Can anyone remember how long they were, the teachers? Anyone remember? 60 feet. And we had a big discussion about whether we should use metres or feet. It was blowing away. So I Googled it and it's 18.2 Eight, eight metres, which is the length of a train carriage. So do you remember it? Blown away? Right, well, you see some of it in the exhibition. And I'm not very sure, is it Byerley Park? By, is that how you pronounce it? Byerley Park. Well, I was very excited to hear all your stories about your grandparents and your parents and travelling on trains. But mostly, we enjoyed the felt pens. Put your hand up if you love the felt pens. Well, they were in boys, and they were four pounds a packet. Who managed to get any? Well, if I come, you managed to get some. <laughs> that was the most exciting thing about our art together, wasn't it? Those felt pens. So next time I come to the school, if I ever do, I'll bring plenty of them. And the last school was Victoria, and. You are very into Greg's sausage rolls, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So we made lots of platform shops and we liked Costa Coffees. What did you like? McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah? Yeah, you made the Costa. So they're my memories of each school. Felt pens, sausage rolls, and blowing in the wind because it was very, very blustery. And thank you for working with me. You've made fantastic art and I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Right, it's that time of the day where we get to go explore the museum. How excited are we? Fabulous. Right, everybody is where they're teachers, so if you stay in your schools, there'll be one of us with one of these lovely sashes on, and we'll take you around some of the activities. So we've got an exhibition that Michelle was mentioning that some of the people have been involved in. We've got a cab that you can go in. I mentioned that before. We've got some drawings. You can make things. We've got stations. There's lots and lots to see in the museum. So stick with your schools. Um, and in two minutes, we'll start taking you out. All right? Speak to you soon. I see you've been doing some drawing as well, and some colouring. That's exciting, wasn't it? So that's been a nice experience this afternoon. Does anybody want to say what the most exciting thing that they've seen today in the museum? The trains themselves, they're very exciting, aren't they, the engines, yes? See? The coal. Absolutely, the coal was very important, wasn't it, for steam trains? Oh, the mallet. Oh, we saw the mallet. That, the mallet's your favourite train. It's about mine too, actually. Yes. 
Sorry, you like me? The colouring, yes. I always like a bit of colouring too. There's been some fantastic artwork done, hasn't there? Yeah, absolutely. When you went to the park, have you been outside? Oh, is there a play park outside? I didn't even know that. I'm too busy working, you see, checking tickets. Yes, sir, at the back. Sorry, do you want the microphone? The train. Oh, going, you like going for the hunt around the trains? Absolutely, it's very exciting. You see all the little parts of them, don't you? And you realise just how complex they are and how many different bits, how many different moving parts. So, are we ready to start? I'm going to hand you back to Em, who's going to help you all with the performance. Hello, everybody. <laughs> So this is going to be, we're calling it a performance because there's some guests here who haven't seen what we were doing earlier, but we, there's nothing to worry about. We're just going to sing through each of the songs. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm. Who's feeling a bit hot and sleepy? Who's feeling like singing their socks off? Oh, some people, oh, that's good. Right, what I think I'd really like to do is stand up, but I don't want you to tread on your pieces of paper, so stand up carefully, and put your pieces of paper down on the floor carefully, and we're gonna need to be able to see this screen. So everybody actually, sorry, pick up your bits and pieces and shuffle back a little bit. You need to get into a, a position where you can see the screen and we're going to do hurry up train. Before we do that, can we just go la 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 very good very good okay everybody take a step back take a step back fantastic so can we have so hurry up so ladies and gentlemen we are going to share with you our first song of our little performance. It's been written by Polem Hall School and St. Andrews. You are St. Andrews. Yes. Sorry, I had a mental blank there. And it's called Hurry Up Train and it's telling a story. And those of us that didn't write it, we had a little practice of it earlier. Do you remember it? Hurry up train. Should we just do it? Let's just do it. Thank you, Johnny. Everyone back in the train! Are we ready? Off we go! Hurry up train, I'm waiting for you.
about hope and all the things that we want and want to stay hopeful about. And most of these lyrics have been written by children and students that aren't here today, but we've learnt some of them, haven't we? So this song has been written by Greenfield College student leaders and Darlington for Culture adults and Biley Park Primary School who are here today. So we had a little go. Do you remember, everybody? We had a little go at the last two lines of each verse, which I'm just going to remind you.
finish with our final number of the afternoon, which is called Make a Connection. And I just want to, I think it, yeah, there we go, that's fantastic. Can I just remind you of, can you just, sorry Sarah, scroll it down to the, the chunky bit. Uh, I mean, sorry. This, I, I really want to make connection. I really want to break this tension. Oh, bunting. Hey. <laughs> we love the bunting. We love it. Oh, we got flags. We got the juby flags. We love it. So, can we remind ourselves of this little break? I, I, we do it four times. And the last time we go, I really want to find it. So, I, I really want to make connection, I really want to break this tension, I don't want to face rejection, I really want to find invention, I really want to make connection, I really want to break this tension, I don't want to face rejection. Fantastic, okay. I think we should, are we ready to just do it? Can you remember the chorus? Sorry, wrong song. Wrong song. Oh, wow. Ah, it's yours. It's yours, isn't it? Now come on a journey and show us how to find what we are looking for. Try to wonder why and so be happy in your heart. Fabulous. Well done. Okay, let's do this. This is our last song of the afternoon. Thank you. When we're connected, it's unusual, but I feel like I can be myself. I, I don't see you. And this is written by Hummel. What do I do? Right. 
fantastic day. Every day is a new journey, isn't it? And I'm very excited to say that there's been some fantastic work that's happened today. And what a wonderful performance. You should all feel very, very proud of yourselves. So, all I've got to say for the end of the day is, go home and have a safe journey home. And I hope to see you again sometime on our great big journey that hopefully will involve trains. So, farewell, everyone. Thank you. 